Let's talk about an early reaction to John Wick 4. This is our early reaction. There'll be no spoilers, and it's this is not going to be any sort of deep review, but it is worth noting. And um, let me mention a couple of things about this early reaction to John Wick 4. Uh, they screened this movie a, a month before it opens. You got to have a lot of confidence, the company Lionsgate that is putting this out, a lot of confidence to screen your movie to critics one month before it comes out. That's unprecedented. Conversely speaking, critics are just today getting to see screenings of the film 65 starring Adam Driver, which I'll be seeing tomorrow. <laughs> so I don't know what that tells you about that. Usually if they screen it late or just before, that says something. But screening a movie this early, that is... Uh, that is extremely rare, extremely rare. Now, if you're a fan of the, the first three John Wick movies, I think I'm a fan of the, the first one for sure is absolutely, it's an action movie classic. You know, from John Wick's sort of a tragic tale, losing his, uh, his wife and then his puppy, which was a gift from his wife. How dare the villains of the film do this? But they meet their, they get their just desserts at the hands of John Wick, who's on a mission. The and and the action is is uh, chef's kiss. The action in the first John Wick is chef's kiss, like like something we haven't seen. John Wick two and three, your mileage may vary. I didn't like it as much. I enjoyed it. Why? I enjoyed two and three because I like Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves' biggest, uh, Keanu Reeves just too likable as a character. That's why he's doing horrible things to people who deserve it. But two and three went down a rabbit hole of lore and all these rules with this assassins, these sort of secretive assassins organizations and how they function. And it got a little over the top in ridiculous ways with regard to the lore. I thought um, kind of ended a little like with a like, what? Mm-hmm. John especially Wick, three. Yeah. yeah, yeah, especially three. John Wick four may be one of the greatest action movies ever made. It's almost three hours long. Very few lulls. I think the the filmmakers, the, the people behind John Wick four, must have heard some of the criticisms of two and three, and they've dialed back the sort of lore or complex story. You don't need a complex. I'm not going to John Wick four to get some complex nuanced story like a, like a Godfather two, right? We don't need, you know, all this sort of nuanced, just spell it out for us. These are, these are the bad guys. These are the good guys. Here are some allies. They're pitted against each other. Go. Some of the action sequences in this thing, and they're relentless. They're one after the other, very simple goals, like nothing you've ever seen leading up to a finale that is, uh, a spectacular heights that the John Wick series has not reached. Uh, I, I, I don't want to describe many of the action sequences, but it just takes everything that you've seen in a previous John Wick movie. It just takes it further. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything more than that, except the first thing I did after I saw it is when tickets for John Wick four went on sale, I got tickets immediately grabbed seats to see it on opening night because I saw it with maybe like 20, 30 critics, mm -hmm. which is fine. But the critics were like blown away. Everyone wanted to just stick around and talk about it. And I, I was like really put off by the three hour running time at first. Uh, it breezes by. And there are very few times, I, you know, look in any movie, I'll find the best, like, okay, something big just happened. I'm headed to the restroom. I couldn't find a place to go to the restroom in this movie. I did eventually have to dip out once, but I just cannot wait to see this movie with a packed audience. Tickets for this thing, already the screenings are packed with like single seats, right? Um, and uh, conversely, Shazam, The Fury of the Gods, plenty of seats available. The theater's almost <laughs> empty. I mean, I do plan to see that movie next Thursday and we will talk about it. We will talk about it next week. But uh, what does that tell you about where people's heads are at? Also, by the way, zero anything woke about it. It's just sort of simple. A man on a mission uh, and and um, 
you know, the and a first, high body count, <laughs> the highest, everything, everything, you know, about all the previous John Wick movies, this ups the ante further, further and further to ways you're like, you cannot believe just like, it's just, it's mind blowing. So uh, everything you like about the John Wick films, this is more and better and done the best. I will say the action is better than John Wick 1. The action is better. It just is. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Action is better. Having said that, I think that the grounded story from the first one is that it, you always have like a place in your heart for that because it's so emotional. Having said that, there are connections between one. You could literally watch John Wick 1 and then John Wick 4 and skip 2 and 3. Yeah. You could. It doesn't matter. So. I haven't told you anything, so as promised, it's an early reaction. No spoilers, no details about story. Alan, what are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. This is this is my favorite movie of the year so far, and um, and looking down the road, I'm not sure I'm going to see anything coming close. Uh, maybe up until Mission Impossible or Guardians, uh, maybe Guardians. Guardians, yeah. No, but I I don't think I don't think. I don't think I'll have the emotional impact with the Guardians I will have with this movie. Um, you know, like last on Friday, I reviewed Operation Fortune and I told you um, that the action sequences are forgettable. I don't remember a single action sequence in, in Operation Fortune. I remember three action sequences in John Wick, John Wick 4. And I still keep thinking about how amazing it was. There's, there's this amazing car chase. Um, there's an overhead shot of a shootout. Uh, there's there's a, a, a you know there's a fight uh, on on a set of stairs that I just keep thinking about over and over again and and you talk about the ending the ending is such a great contrast to the rest of the movie and it's a great button for an ending of this movie um, this, this this movie is just absolutely brilliant and 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 I I, I hesitate saying that because I don't want to raise your expectations too high but I think you can. Um, if you love that first movie, you will absolutely love this movie. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I feel like I'm just gonna repeat a lot of things you said, but this is an amazing movie. This is, this is my favorite movie so far this year.